Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Tech Tip and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset your Xfinity or your Comcast email password. Check it out. All right, everyone, first things first, what we're going to want to do is navigate over to Comcast website. So if you go up into the top left bar up here, you can see it says my.xfinity.com. Go ahead and type that into your URL bar and then hit enter and that will take you to this page. From here, what you're going to want to do is you can either click sign in or you can click on the envelope and that will actually take you to the sign in page where we can go in and we can actually click on how to retrieve your password or reset your password. If you're looking to get just log into your email, you can actually go ahead and check out our video in the top right hand corner that will link you over to our video on how to get logged into the Comcast account. This video is specifically how to reset your password. So as you can see, we've got the login page right up here and we're going to focus on the link that says password right here. It's a little blue link and you're going to go ahead and left click on that. And then it's going to ask you for whatever your email is or your username. So you will want to know that information. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And typically it will be a .net since it is a, or at, a at comcast.net. Go ahead and once you've got that information in, just go ahead and click on continue. And it's going to ask for a CAPTCHA just to make sure that you're not spam or that you're not a bot trying to get into the account. So go ahead and follow in typing in the letters or whatever they are. And then once again, hit continue. And then it's going to give you a few different options. These options will depend on what you set up when you set up the account originally. It could be a reset email that you can send a link to, or you can set up a secret question, or you can set up a phone and they can send you a verification code. So I'm going to go ahead and click text me. And then it will display the phone number that it's going to send it to. If you do not have access to this phone number anymore, you may want to try one of your other methods. If that does not work, you may need to actually Comcast, uh, call Comcast directly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose text me, hit continue. So just to kind of throw a little bit of wrench into things, we waited a good like 10, 15 minutes and the, the secret code actually never came through the text. So we're actually going to go ahead and try a different recovery option. This is why it's a good idea to have multiple ways in case one doesn't work or you forget the answers to one or you forget you don't, you no longer have the phone number to one. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click answer your secret question. Any of the options that you choose will take you to the same password reset page, which you'll see here in just a moment. So I'm going to fill this information in and then it's going to take us to that page so you guys can see it. And then we'll put in the zip code of the account. So you'll want to make sure, of course, that you have the correct zip code. And this is the page that it's going to take you to. Once you've completed that, this is going to say, hey, create a password and then confirm that password. And then you can click continue or stay signed in. If this is a public computer, do not click the stay signed in. You don't want other people to have access to your email. So I'm going to go ahead and create a password. Now you can click the show password button here. What that will do is it will actually show the password in it as you type it, just to make sure that you actually have the create password and then confirm password the same. Once you've got that, go ahead and click on continue. And then it's going to say, Hey, don't get locked out again. It's going to give you basically a summary of all the different other recovery options that you have set up. Make sure that those are all set up and updated correctly. Hit continue again. And then once you're finished with that, you are officially logged into your Comcast account. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback, of course, in the comment section below the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.